Hello very users, Alex here, your VRA guide, and tonight we're checking out one of the most important programs that all 3D artists should know. And yes, I'm talking about Marvelous Designer. With this program you can simulate high quality, realistic, cloth looking objects, such as beds, curtains, anything that got cloth related, um, you can simulate it with this program. As you can see, a lot of artists work in the uh, gaming industry and they create different uh, cloth and outfits. But we are going to concentrate today on the architectural visualization stuff. And uh, I actually bumped into uh, Ramon Sanzaro, one of my favorite artists. I bumped into his scene right here and he got this cool looking carpet and I saw a couple of artists create this carpet in their scenes and it's something that is very uh, I'd say in and fashionable in today's uh, visualizations so let me show you how to create something like that and uh, we're gonna create some pillows have a little bit fun with this however today we're just going to concentrate on basic stuff something that you will get you uh, quick started by the way marvelous designer if you go to their website is completely free for 30 days so you can download it try it they have a free trial so marvelous design is launched here we're gonna go and close everything uh, in the user interface we can find a lot of uh, cool different buttons related uh, objects and avatars and mainly this one made for uh, clothes designers, fashion designers or maybe someone that works in the game industry we can see the setups coming up with already pre-made uh, default cloth objects here that can be sued as a dress that's a sample we can delete it because we don't actually need this whole thing and uh, on the, on the left hand side we got a window where we can see and view our simulation and on the right hand side we have a window where we adjust our cloth and you know sew things and connect things and bind things right here on top where all the buttons one of the most important is right this one simulate each time we're gonna simulate something we're gonna click this and then we have uh, different selection tools so all of this stuff related to this uh, window right here for simulating stuff and uh, on the right hand side we have all the buttons that related to the cloth adjustments so we can create objects here let's create one right now so we're gonna create carpet as big as the woman something like this all right and voila carpet created so we can use uh, rotation tools to rotate it and let's delete this avatar because we don't actually need it so let's go to avatar delete all avatars okay so we created a cloth object and uh, if we click on simulate it will just drop down nicely and uh, we can get a nice basic simulation of cloth so with the wheel I'm rotating I'm zooming in out uh, right click on the mouse I'm moving up and down left click I'm grabbing points and I can move that stuff so we can see the cloth already already there um, we have also object browser here default fabric is what we get when we set this fabric and we of course we have the scene exploration also and we have the object property editor so at the beginning something uh, I don't know when I launched the program I couldn't find this object property editor but it was right here on the side so if you click here you will get all this uh, all those parameters regarding your object cloth okay so if we click right click on the cloth and reset 3d arrangement we can 
zoom out and restart our simulation okay so let's go and check out how we can create this cool looking carpet with sewings wings on the sides and those cool um, foldings here so let's go back to my rose designer and after creating after using this internal rectangle after creating the cloth we can create lines so one click press shift that way it will be aligned and then double click and voila we created a line then one more we actually can clone it control c control v and if we press shift we can assign it and position it like this control c control v and again so basically i'm moving every three one two three all right so we created our vertical lines now we need to create horizontal lines same matter here click on the insert this object and click shift double click click shift double click so or you you should you can also do control c control v and with the shift just move this every three okay and here we also need to fix okay so the carpet actually was created here now we need to fix just a little bit the lines so they will look symmetrical okay all right so now we need to select the separations and sew them together and this can be done by pressing shift and selecting all of those lines right here going to the fold angle fold strength let's put it 100 and fold angle let's put it 360 so it's all going to be um, really all the way to the end and now we can press simulate and we can see how the carpet is being created and the sewing lines slowly falls down really nicely and we already can see that it's going the right direction okay so let's go and uh, check out the other parameters that we have I'm going to select my cloth and um, let's see what we've got here if we click on elastic we will get a little bit more definition and you can see how it's all getting shrink together because of because of the uh, strength parameters here and ratio ratio kind of brings the stuff together let's stop this and do reset and try it one more time without the elastic on so we can check out other parameters okay so while we're simulating let's zoom in a little bit with the scroller let's see other parameters that we have here shrink weight weft so let's put 90 here we can see how it shrinks on the sides which is pretty cool so all all of them get a little bit connected together and let's do 90 here shrinkage warp also here pretty cool um, let's see thickness let's put 10 thickness collision i see it was raised up a little bit so 2.5 i think is the good we don't want it to be floating too much if we use any objects we can export objects like objs and stuff like that from 3ds max um for example if i'll import my nuba core couch i can import it into marvel's designer and put cloth 
So if this parameter will be too high, we might get floating results. Pressure is good for pillows. I'm going to introduce it later. Arrangement and the other stuff. Mesh type, quad. So this is all for this. Now, if we click on the default fabric, we will go into our fabric parameters here. So the first one is color. It's just representative color, ambient inclusion we can see here. And diffuse density is just a representational color of the material. What we need is the physical property. So here we've got all the properties, cotton, denim, all different fabric types. So let's put cotton and details. So we can see each, each fabric type got different parameters here for cloth. So we put denim, we select denim and we can exit the simulation and click it again and use those. Just play around with it. So bending rub is something that kind of relaxes the cloth. You can see all the way makes it more puffy and all the way down makes it more relaxed. Bulking ratio weft can see inside the sewing points we're controlling the threshold and the tension buckling ratio wrap not much to it all right so go ahead play with those internal damping density so this is something like this friction, friction uh, coefficient and thickness. All right, looks pretty cool. Um, last thing, I'm going to do a little touch here. I'm just going to take this corner and I'm going to fold it. Hold it to the side. Come on. No, like that. Yeah. Come on, fold down. You can do it. I know you can do it. That's little touch. We need to make this thing more realistic. All right, so we got really nice fold up here of this corner. Cool. So the carpet looks very organic and uh, got a nice little touch here. All right. So what we can do now is take this and export as OBJ or FBX. Let's do the, uh, the OBJ and uh, let's call it carpet test save. Okay. And uh, why don't we go and open Max and import this OBJ test. See how it goes. Import. And now we can resize our carpet a little bit because it came out too big and position it somewhere here. Maybe flip it a little bit so we get this folding corner. All right. So the stuff looks pretty good. The only thing now is we need to create cool texture. Maybe the line's a little bit rough. What we can do here, we can add turbo smooth just to make it more smooth. 
and less less jittery like that but looks pretty good so with and without turbo smooth we can we can see how cool are those details getting if we add some turbo smooth to it getting really nice cool shape I want to save some time and show you some more cool things that you can do with Marvel's designer so now let's do a new scene and do some pillows for pillows we also going to use this rectangular object and by clicking Control C Control V shift we're going to duplicate this now we need to go and sew those parts so we're gonna use those sewing segment option what I gotta do is as you can see here they got points so I need to connect points with points otherwise it's gonna be flipped so same points connected here top to top bottom to bottom and side to side if I'll connect like this it gives me that X so it's not good all right so now all of the parts connected what I gotta do here is go select this and move it you can see it's flipped and most of the time it comes out flipped not sure why you can fix it by pressing flip horizontal and you can see all the lines now aligned properly to each other so I'm gonna bring it closer like that okay so if we select if we click on the selector select the whole thing we can flip it and now we can press simulate watch this we're getting our pillow boom it's on the floor and here I want to introduce the pressure poof I got nice balloon so pressure somewhere about between four and five and six would be a good amount maybe a little less and we probably gotta select different type of fabric because this is very puffy so let's select cuton so you can see we're getting nice folds here if we go back to those guys here and select elastic we're getting much more defined results and if we pull it up a little bit we can play with it as much as we want by positioning and getting cool shape of that pillow all right look at this how cool is that huh i spend uh spend the whole week playing with this thing around i wasn't using this for quite a while but i think it's the time gotta get a hold of this tool right here okay so same thing going uh goes here if you want to do the uh, the sewings if you want to get more insights of that you can get nice uh, defined lines so that's the ratio between the swing lines so the closer it is the closer the swing lines are getting now they are more apart same thing uh, goes to if we want to create circular pillows very easy control c control v with the shift i'm gonna drag it here same thing select connect bottom to bottom top to top all right now let's take this guy move it aside 
click flip horizontally position selection select all rotate it and click simulate boom got our pillow let's do some pressure here and we can play a little bit with this pillow you can also do different lines inside and um, different cuts if you wish let's do two cuts right here one two now select both of those guys with shift and fold strength fold angle click simulate if we turn the elastic off we can see how those guys are getting much better folds all right so unique stuff um, you can see those folds more or less similar to what we see here in uh, in Ramon's scene here and all of those foldings just a lot of work but if you start playing with marvelous designer you probably can get good results with no time practice makes perfect this program is for free for 30 days you can go ahead and try it out the prices is not in the sky so you can afford it i actually started working with this every day now every time i'm creating something i'm using marvelous designer all right guys so that's about it i hope you enjoyed this marvelous designer tutorial if you have any comments or questions post them below this video and i'll be more than glad to answer them next week we're launching our interior workshop so more insights about importing exporting models and working with cloth will be introduced so make sure to follow this is alex your v-ray guy talk soon